there are things that happen in our life there are people that we encounter that it makes you question yeah. na parang shit kung trinato mo ko ng ganito ganito ba talaga kung tao yeah. And yeah. then when you've let go or like you've moved on or whatever, that's when you can kind of reel yourself back in and make sure na parang, hey, that was that person. Yeah. Just fucking with my mental. Yeah, I did leave home a couple of years ago. Not because of my mom, not because of anyone, but because I was having an identity crisis. Yeah. People often get uneasy entering unfiltered conversations, but you have nothing to be afraid of. A safe, genuine space where you can be there and just be you. Join me as we untangled some of the most guarded stories, uncomfortable topics, and inevitable truths about life. Let's talk bare topics and bold conversations here at Bear It All Podcast with Danny Barreto. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Bear It All Podcast. So for today, we have a guest that's not happy. <laughs> Sobra sa'yo ako kasi siya yung guest ko today. So, my guest for today is my sissy actress. Oh, <laughs> dami niya ng role in life ngayon. Ano ba ang gusto mong intro ko sa'yo, sis? The, ident- ka na. the identity Ident- crisis girl. <laughs> <laughs> Madaming roles on TV, Madami movies, na. and real life. <laughs> yes, but she is one of my dearest, dearest friends, Lauren Young. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me, Danny. Of course. Okay, so for our topic for today, it's going through identity crisis. So I think lahat naman tayo, we go through identity crisis. Actually, ito si Lauren, pinapili ko siya ng topic. Sinend ko sa kanya, o oh, ito yeah. yung mga topics ng podcast, pili ka. Sabi niya, dito daw siya nakarelate. I think, I, I gravitated towards this topic specifically because um, everything that I've been through in my life, I, I started acting at such a young age. I also had to play like various roles in my yeah. life, not just on television, but in real life as yeah. well. Like I was a daughter, I was a student, I was a girlfriend, a partner, yeah. um, a sister, and I was a friend, and I was someone who is also a professional. Mm-hmm. So parang in every aspect of my life, I would always have to somewhat put on a different role because yeah. I had different responsibilities and different people that I was interacting with. That but when I got to like my late twenties, actually, parang I was like, "Oh my God, who am I? Like, yeah. what, like what is my purpose?" It, it's those big questions, especially yeah. now that I'm turning thirty. I was like, "Ano ba na achieve ko? Ano bang uh, ma bibigay ko or ma offer ko sa mundong to mm-hmm. or sa mga tao na mahal ko?" And I was like, "But I'm no one." Like or like I, for once you ikaw. Yeah, you for so, yourself. Or like who am I to myself? Yeah. That, that's the biggest one of all. Like I could be like a great sister Mm-mm. or like a horrible sister, but at least I know where I stood. Yeah. But who am I to myself? I didn't even know the things I liked. Yeah. I didn't know the hobbies that I... I'd had no hobbies. Mm-hmm. That's why I can relate to the episode that I didn't have a hobby. I was like, oh my God, that's me! I don't have a hobby! I feel na parang, di ba lumalabas is you keep servicing other people yes. for their wants and yeah. their needs. And then when it came to myself, because I had no idea what I wanted and what I needed, Mm-mm. parang I would always be caught in like a very existential crisis Mm-mm. na something that was so mundane and so little would set me off. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, it's not what I want. Yeah. And then my, my boyfriend, Toby, would ask me, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't but know what I that's want. That's the problem. <laughs> that's, that's the, the problem. problem. <laughs> it's like, help me figure it out. Yeah. And then yeah. he was like, I can't. I can't help you figure that out because that's something you need to figure out on your own. Ikaw lang makapagsabi. Yeah. And then, what else? I think um, what really put me on that track of trying to figure out who I was was when the pandemic happened. Mm-mm. Because for the first time in my adult life, I slowed down. Mm-mm. Like, I couldn't work. I couldn't go out. And even before when you first met me, kung wala ako sa trabaho, nasa labas ako. Yeah, like, yeah. Even Megan was like, we were living together for a year. She's like, dude, you're never at home. Yeah, yes. lagi kami ginagawa. Lagi ako may ginagawa, di ako mapakali. So for the first time in my life, I wasn't doing anything. Like, parang, the possibilities were endless. Mm-mm. Yet, I, I had no options. Was it like a a blessing? The idle moment was the, yeah. a blessing? Or like, nainis ka kasi wala kang ginagawa? It's a blessing and a curse, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, like, I don't like being idle. Like, in that moment, it feels like, oh, shit. 
Yeah. Like, that's the curse part. Eh. Parang tanga ng gagawin ko. There's nothing anymore. Yeah. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't sit still. And then the blessing came a little bit later on. Three years. Yes, <laughs> yes. Diba? So parang, it was during that downtime when I was like, okay, what are you gonna do with your life? Mm-mm. And like, who are you? And what are you interested in? And then that's when I realized what was really lacking in my life was the fact that parang feeling ko na deprive ako ng childhood ko. Yeah. And it's no one's fault. You yeah. know, a lot of people can say, you know, it's your parents' fault because they, well, my parents they, didn't. They made you work well, or stuff like that. But in the argument, they didn't make me work. I was you like, wanted I to, to work. work. Yeah. I want to be an artista. The moment is here. I want to do all these things. And like the fact that I was homeschooled, like I always tell you this, right? yeah. I'm like I have no friends. I think um, I had to, going back to that, like I really had to figure out na, uh, okay, you had no childhood. <laughs> you had, the only experience I have basically was I worked. Yeah. Like, and I feel like that added into the fact that because I was working, um, I had to grow up yeah. fast. And there was a moment in my career that really stru- stuck with me. I was 14. I'm a child. You yeah. Know? And I was working on this teleserie. And it was, syempre, baguhan, two years lang ako or three years in the industry at this time. And I'm very Western because my dad, he's American. Yeah. And we grew up very American. So I'm very like, whatever. Alam mo, may ganun ako. Mm-mm. I'm very like, you don't respect me, I don't respect you either. Yeah. May ganun ako. Eh. Yeah. And um, there was this one director but for me, I'm just, you know, doing my job. It's not a big deal. I'm here. I'm supposed to have fun. I'm mm-hmm. a kid. Tapos parang nagkakamali ako kasi there was something he wanted me to do. Tapos hindi ko siya makuha. Eh, syempre, parang at 14, I can only comprehend so yeah. much, yeah. you know. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, parang ginanon niya ako. Sabi niya, ilan taong ka na? I'm 14. Ganun pa ako sa mga tayo. <laughs> Medyo bichesa kasi talaga ako. I'm just like, I'm 14. And then sabi niya sa akin, oh, 14 ka na pala. You're working, you have to be an adult. Grow up. ho. So parang ever since wow. then, I hindi ako mayak. Hindi ako na offend. But pero like, hindi mo nakalimutan. Pero obviously. hindi ko nakalimutan. Mm-mm. And then ever since then, I acted like I was an adult at 14. So parang I feel like a Hollywood celebrity. I was like, "Where's my childhood?" Joke <laughs> lang. <laughs> <laughs> my childhood was robbed. My childhood was robbed <laughs> by who? By me lang. Because I didn't let go of my Because my mom was like, "Go to college, go to yeah. high school." Yeah. Mag- like mag But you muna. actually tried. You tried going yeah, to college. Because we're not tayo nakikita nun. Oh, oh. And I think like even my college experience was very, very different Mm-mm. from most, but very similar to others. Yeah. Kasi. Like I'm always like. You know, when my parents separated, parang our whole life, it got tossed and everything changed, Mm-mm. you know. So my mom, suddenly she was abroad working. My dad, he was doing his own thing and Megan was working. Victor was in school. So parang, it was Mikael who said it. He was like, you know when your parents separated? It was so weird because instead of the three of you siblings being closer together, nagkiwa like, Parang like, yeah, we're like, okay, fuck, mom and dad's gone. Let's do our own thing. Yeah. But it wasn't like partying or whatever. It's just like, well, we have to take care of ourselves because Mm-mm. now our parents are do are busy with their stuff. Yeah. We have to grow up. So you gotta yeah. grow up, Lauren. Yeah. And I was 17 at that time. So when I was going to college, it was very difficult for me. I so badly wanted it to be normal. But then I was like, well, how can it be normal? One, you're working Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Mm-mm. 24 hours. Iba it's normal mo na oh, oh. Yan. And then pagpapasok ka sa school, antok na antok ka, Mm-mm. ireg ka, lahat ng kaklase mo iba iba. Yeah. And it was so hard because I was paying for my own tuition. Yeah. And Benil's expensive, so I don't know why I chose to go to that fucking school because <laughs> it was so mahal for like a working <laughs> student, ba? And mas mahal siya kasi hindi ako nag full units. Yeah. Eh. So parang and then I think I went there because during that time my sister Megan was going there. I was like, gaya gaya ako sa ate ko. So, bibinil din ako. Not knowing that, puta na mal mal pala, diba? <laughs> so, parang, yung naging crisis ko naman was, pag may taping ako, may show ako, dami kong pera. Mm-mm. Pero wala akong oras para mag-aral. Yeah. And then, pag wala akong show, kailangan ko i-budget yung pera ko. Sayang din yung binayad mo, technically. Oh, oh. And then, pag wala akong show, kailangan ko i-budget yung kasi kailangan ako magkakaroon ng Mm-mm. next show. So, I was like, ah, fuck, wala naman akong pera. Dami, dami kong oras. Yeah. So, sabi ko, you know, I have to make the tough decision. I stopped going to school. Yeah. And then, it always goes back to showbiz. Yeah. You know? You think showbiz has become your parang comfort zone? 
na parang you think when when things in your life isn't going great, parang you feel that yun yung pwede mong balik-balikan? Um, I think I'm very confident kasi that I can so easily go back to showbiz. Yes. Because... I'm so confident to know that I can easily go back to showbiz. Not because, and di ako mayabang about this, Mm-mm. but it's because I'm so confident with my skills. Yeah. And I put a lot of time and a lot of effort to really hone my acting yeah. and to be a professional that I know if people wanted to hire me just based on acting skills, mm-hmm. I could deliver. Yeah. But the reality is, I don't want to lose weight talaga. So <laughs> I feel like um, part of like my identity crisis also goes back to showbiz kasi. Mm-hmm. And showbiz, as beautiful and as fun as it was for me and as great as an opportunity it is, it holds a very traumatic time in my life. Mm. And you know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like when I was in showbiz, I, I started dabbling into alcohol, yeah. partying. And mm-hmm. then there was one time I was like crying to Toby and I was like, Toby, I don't know. I was like, am I an alcoholic? Mm. As in, it came to that mm-mm, point that I thought I was alcoholic. Na ako. I just stayed in my room and I was just crying all night long. Yeah. Because like alcohol and I, like, it has a very bad role in my life. But there's an awareness. Buti na lang, may awareness ka. Like, alam mo, kasi so some people, yun naman yung problema nila. Mm-mm. Na kailangan may mag-wake up call sa kanila. Yeah. At least ikaw, you are your own wake up call. Yeah. Well, because, to be honest, I always lived by the rule that I have... And this has nothing to do with my family or my friends, but I have no one in this world but myself. Mm. Yun yun lagi kong guide sa isip yeah. ko na you're the only one who can help yourself. You're the only one who can fuck it up for yourself. Mm-mm. So get your shit together. Yeah. Because, I mean, as supportive as my family is, we're also the type of people that we don't like bothering each other with our problems. Mm-mm. And Megan's always like, you can just call me if you need anything. <laughs> In my head, you can just call me, love, you need anything. <laughs> like, if, if you need help, like, just call your ate. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I don't need your help. I'll do it on my own. She's like, okay, but I'm just a call away. In fact, I'm offer it to But I'm very stubborn. Eh. I'm like, no, my, my problem, find my solution. Yeah. Ganun ako. And, um, wala. Eh. So since that's the way that I, I, I operate, I really had to like dig myself out of it. And part of it was because I wasn't liking who I was turning into. Yeah. I mean, you saw how hard I partied. Yeah. It's intense, mm. and like you see, you I I think you've also seen my shift yeah. when I'm when I'm drinking. They don't mean Like I I Uh-oh. haven't drank in a pretty long time. Yeah, and um, what do you call this? The shift is extreme because I'm very quiet when I'm sober, and I'm very. But when we're close, I'm very you sociable. Know, I'm very nice. Chica, yes, and I'm very very nice. Yeah, but then when I drink alcohol. I turned so nasty. Mm. Like, parang sabi ko nga kay Toby, I was like, you know, one of the reasons why we don't fight now is because I've learned to control my alcohol intake. Mm. Because I remember talaga before, in in public when we're with friends, life of the party, yeah. tada, enjoy, enjoy. Pero pag umuwi, nag-aaway na kayo. Wala mo siyang ginagawa, inaaway ko lang siya, di ba? Ikaw aaway yung tao, he doesn't deserve that. And because I value our relationship, I really wanted to make that shift, not mm-hmm. only for him, but for my well-being as yeah. well. Yeah. Because I would really wake up the next day like feeling like it's not even like, I'm just, I have so much shame mm. and so much guilt. And I knew it was bad because there was like a cup, like there was this one night that we went out to drink and then I didn't drink a lot. I was like socializing. Mm-mm. And then the next day I woke up and then the first thing I felt was shame. And yeah. then tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, hey, did I say anything weird? Did mm. I do anything wrong or anything? He's like, no, it's fine. Like, everything was fun. And I was like, shit, ito na yon. Wala na nga akong ginagawa. Meron pa akong negative feelings yeah. when I wake up. Mm-mm. So I know that what I'm doing, this temporary happiness that alcohol creates is not worth the things that I feel the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's when I really... And it was tough. It was tough to stop because it became such a norm for me. Mm -mm. And I felt like that's where my other identity crisis came in. uh, I felt like I really needed alcohol to drive and bring out my personality. Yeah. And I felt like... It was like... Remember the first few weeks na hindi ako umiinom? It's talagang hindi ako nagsasalita. Yeah. Because I had that inner battle talaga na parang, okay, ikaw... 
ik- ikaw ba talaga to? Mm-mm. Kasi pag hindi ka umiinom, ang boring-boring mo. Mm-mm. But then, if you're going to drink, you're going to feel so much regret the next day. Mm-mm. So, I would end up just sitting and like not speaking. And like yeah. people are like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. But deep inside, I was like, I want to drink so bad. Yeah. But I also don't want to drink. Yung parang may push and pull ako lagi. Yeah. And that's why I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna stop. Do you think like, okay, so in this, in, in your, sa, sa face ng life mo ngayon, are you still in survival mode or you're still, enjo- you're now enjoying your life? Now I'm enjoying my life. And I think, um, I can enjoy my life now because I made sure to, to take the necessary steps in order for myself to heal. Yeah. Like, I knew what was la I identified what was lacking. I identified what needed to be done Mm-mm. and how to achieve that empty space that was in my soul. Yeah. And I was like, how do I fill it in? Mm-mm. And then how does that make me whole as a person? And so what I realized was I needed to tap into my inner child, which Mm-mm. is why I liked game. Yeah. And I needed to stop drinking alcohol, which is why I don't go out anymore. Yeah. And then I needed to also be firm. Kasi weak shit ako talaga eh. I am the type of girl like I just give in. Yeah. Like whatever you want, just for me it was like whatever you want sige, ano, para madali na lang, oo na lang, oo. Para na tapos lang. na, sige. Para tapos oo na. na lang. But then ako yung I'm the one who's left with dapat di ko sinabi yon. Yeah. Dapat di ako pumayag. Mm-mm. So now I'm very firm with how I live my life. Like I've identified what are the things in my life that make me happy Mm-mm. and and what will make me feel accomplished. And I feel like that's why I'm not so tempted to go back to showbiz mm. because I just kind of got over everything, you know? Yeah. And whenever I I have the thought of magkakashow ako, yeah. parang it gives me anxiety now. Yeah. So... That's why I have been trying to figure out other ways for myself to generate income. Yeah. So, and like, I like doing things on my own time. Mm -mm. I like doing things that I love, which is why I really love content creation. Yeah. And I'm more driven to kind of stay in that route. And then I always say to Toby, I'm like, you know, one day I will go back to showbiz Mm -mm. because to be honest, I love acting. Yeah. And you're good at it. I'm brilliant. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Yeah, (laughs) mom. No, but like, Parang, I will go back to it, but I feel like I'm just not ready just right Mm-mm. now. And Well, you, how about when you're So yeah. you decide, maybe this time around it's uh, different. You get to decide when you want to come back. Yeah, and this time around, I feel like when I come back, I'll be like in the best shape of my life. Mm-mm. I'll be better physically, mentally, emotionally, that whatever is thrown my way, I could handle it. Yeah. Because to be honest, I don't want to put myself in a position where I know I will feel any bit of misery. Yeah. Just to make a couple thousand pesos. Yes. Yeah. Like hindi kasi ako materialistic na tao. Eh. I was really explaining that to Toby. I was like and Shampoo, we live together yeah. now, right? And like, it's my first time living with a boyfriend. Yeah. And um, we live in his house. And like, so Shampoo, there's a big adjustment for me. And then I was like, you know, the reason why I, you think I'm so difficult mm. is because this is the first time in my life that I didn't do it on my own. Yeah. Like, I needed your help. Mm-mm. I asked for your help. And just to ask for it was a big thing for me. Yeah. And the fact that I'm still here, so because you just have to be patient with me. Because I'm not really sure how I'm going to help people. Mm-hmm. Because yung how I see it is, when you help me, I failed. Because yeah. I couldn't figure it yeah. out on my own. And then it was like a lot of like, conversations that were very like about love and like gentleness that he had to really explain to me that, you know, we're partners. Just because I help you doesn't mean you failed. Yeah. It's just because this is how it works. We yeah. have to help each other. Just like in times na parang, like maybe I'm just lucky that he doesn't need a lot of help because that guy, he has it all figured out. Mm. And like he's so like, yung parang with his personality na determination na, this is who I am. This is what I believe in. Yeah. And you can't force me to yeah. change my views, right? Which is kind of bad and kind of good. But his is the good side the man. So parang he was like, I just had to realize that, you know, I'm lucky that I have someone who is so gentle with me mm. and so understanding 
that I was able to kind of let my guard down and be like, okay, all the help that I rejected from Megan, you can help me with now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but same, 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 same. <laughs> same, I think same with my life. I don't, I never ask for help. Kahit minsan, girl, namamatay na ako. Like, umiiyak na ako, di na ako makatulog, pa, sobrang stress na ako. Out. I will still do everything I can para masolve ko yung problema yeah. mo. Problema ko, kahit hindi ko na kaya. Yeah. So parang nagkaroon din ako ng time na I had, for the first time, nag-open up din ako kay Javi na parang sabi ko, oh my God, yun mo yung words pa lang na hindi ko kaya. Ang uh-uh. sakit na sa akin sabihin yun. Kasi it's like you're accepting defeat yeah. eh. Parang hindi, hindi, imposible hindi ko to kaya. Bakit uh-huh. hindi ko to ma-figure out? Is there something wrong with me? Ito mm-hmm. na naman na blame ko na naman yung sarili ko. And he really had to tell me na parang, you don't have to have it figured out yeah. all the time. People can help you. And hindi naman ibig sabi, actually now I know that asking help is it's a, it's a form of strength. Yes. It's because you're, I don't know, strong enough to even ask. Yeah. Na parang, hey, I can't do this anymore. You gotta help me. And you're strong enough to know, to realize, what are the limits? Yeah. What are you only capable of? Because to be honest, there's no such thing as a superman or a superwoman yeah. or anything like that. Everyone has their faults. Everyone yeah. has their capabilities. And there's no shame in admitting na parang hanggang dito ka lang. Yeah. Totoo naman yun. Diba? I think there's, no, naman kasi, there's no shame in being normal. <laughs> kaya ka din nagkakaroon ng identity uh, crisis kasi parang feeling mo pa minsan lahat kaya mo gawin. Uh, and you expect too much of yourself. Yes. Diba? Parang you also have to talaga maniwala ka nalang sa sarili mo na okay, ito lang kaya kong gawin. Hindi mo na kailangan pilitin yung sarili mo to be someone else mm. just because hindi mo ma-figure out to. Yeah. Yun din ang before, sabi ko, kay Javi, nung time na yon before you, I was a totally different person. I was like, kind of like you, I was very angry at the world. Yes. I felt like no nothing was in my favor. No one, feeling ko nga like, I love so much, nobody loves me this yes. much. How come? Or like, I give so much, how come nobody does Gives that for me? Like, am I not special? Hindi ba ako ka mahal-mahal? Kasi mm-hmm. hindi nyo ginagawa lahat to para sa akin. And I just realized it's not their fault. Eh. Yeah. Hindi nila kasalanan yun. You cannot expect people to do the things that you can do for them because we're all different. Yes. So I, that's also something that I had to, ano, to kind of let go because I got to point na parang I don't th- I think my mom loves my other siblings more. Yeah. Like maybe because ganito, maybe ganyan, pero ko na realize ko, eh hindi na naman ako ganun kalambing sa mommy ko. Hindi na naman ako ganito sa mommy ko. So, eh yung mga kapatid ko ubod ng lambing uh, sa kanya. So why do you feel like you deserve these things diba? when you don't put in the same amount eh, of effort to receive yung it? Yung nanay ko natatakot ako kausapin ako kasi lagi akong galit Mm-mm. or lagi akong defensive. Like ako din eh. Yeah. Alam mo 'yun? Like it's a in every relationship, it's a give and take form na kailangan kung ano yung gusto mong ma-receive, yun din yung kaya mong ibigay kasi yeah. sa mommy ko like sabi niya, "Dan, they ask for my help." You don't. Yeah. Sabi niya, like, nahihirapan ka na pala, but tumakbo ka ba sa akin? Tapos nung hindi, nung hindi niya ako, let's say, she wasn't there, sinisi ko pa siya. Yeah. Na parang, you were not there. But I didn't give her the chance to yes. be there for me. That's the thing. And, so, and I, uh, you also have to navigate the world that, what I learned was, people can't read my mind. Yeah. Oh Ganun. my God. I have to learn Ganun. the hard way. <laughs> and I think that's why also, I have less identity crises now mm. and I'm in such a better place I'm so much happier is because I've learned that a lot of things are not in my control mm. and those things I just have to deal with it or like just accept it but the things that are in my control that's the things I focus on yeah dapat naman kasi talaga alam mo ba dami like sabi ko kami and dami naming things in common pero like itong story niya na alala ko yung time na I left home. And mm-hmm. I think like, that's the thing na parang people were just talking about but they didn't really get an uh, an answer out of me if I did. Like, I did leave home a couple of years ago. Not because of my mom, not because of anyone, but because I was having an identity crisis. Yeah. Like, I got out of a five-year relationship and I all of a sudden did not know who you were. Who, who I was na kasi I relied too much of myself dun sa tao. Yeah. Na parang feeling ko nung nawala siya, nawala na din. Oh my God. Sino na ako ngayon? Yeah. Ano na, saan ako lulugar ngayon? Sino, ano na bang ginagawa ko? Kasi parang binigay ko masyado lahat sa isang tao. So nung nawala siya, parang Walang feeling naiwan ko, sa'yo. Walang naiwan sa akin. So nung umalis ako ng bahay, nawala yung main support system ko, which is my family. Mm-hmm. 
and you know, being away from them for a long time, like ikaw, di ba, mo six months, I think I was only away from them for four months, feeling ko na wala na ako ng backbone. Yeah. Na wala na ako ng, parang sabi ko, ba't ko ba ito ginagawa? Para kanino ko ba ito ginagawa? But alam mo, pinanindigan ko yun, hindi talaga ako umuwi kasi parang feeling ko, I had a lot to figure out for myself. And thankfully, I really did. Yeah. Yung dun ko na straighten out yung buhay ko. Yun yung lagi ko sinasabi sa mga, uh, whenever I get interviewed, I always say na, that had to happen. I needed to do that for myself yeah. because when I did that, I found myself. I knew who I was. And dumire-dire-diretso na lahat sa buhay ko nun. Naging maayos na lahat nun. I found Javi. He became my boyfriend. I had Millie. Everything in my life parang laid out. Fell, laid yeah. out. Like, it, sana nagawa ko ng mas maayos. Hindi ako nag nun eh. Yun ang pinakamasakit sa akin. Hindi ako nag sa mom ko nung time na yun. Umalis lang ako. Mm. And that's one of the greatest pains of her life kasi she blamed herself. Yeah. So, I blame myself for doing that to her. For giving her that pain. For giving her that pain. My siblings didn't know why I left them. Yeah. We're very close, so they feel like iniwan ko sila. But you know, I also think that there are certain things that have to happen in our lives. Yeah. And as as bad as it, as it is to say, sometimes regardless if we cause pain to other people. Minsan kailangan siya mangyari kailangan for yourself. Mangyari. And then, ang mangyayari na lang is you just have to constantly deal with the consequences of mm. repairing something that needed to happen to you yeah. but they don't understand. Yeah. You just always have to make it up to them. But then one day, you know, I also believe that everything will be okay. Yeah. As long as you put in the right amount of effort mm. and be genuine with it. Yeah. And, you know, you can't enjoy life without a little pain. Well, that's true. For me, kung, kung ano, kung, di ba sabi nila, lahat ng mga tao may pinakamadami pinagdaanan sa buhay, yun yung may pinaka dapat may matutunan in life. Uh-uh. And I feel like this is the hand that we were dealt with yeah. ever since we were young. So parang now that we're at a good place in our lives, we understand now why all of those had to yeah. happen. And I feel like also, I wouldn't be who I am today if those things never happened to me. Like, Girl, ang dami na ba din kasi identity crisis sa buhay ko. Meron uh, din ako issue with abandonment. Yeah. And I end up with toxic men. This is the only healthy relationship I've ever been with. Mm. Like, I've, I've ever been in. And I always felt like that's what I deserved. Yeah. Because hindi ko nga kilala ko, hindi ko alam ko anong deserve uh, ko, girl. Like, I didn't know what I deserve. Ito ba yun? Kasi iniwan ako ng mga tao mahal ko sa buhay. Lahat ng mga dapat hindi mananakit sa akin. Sila mm-hmm. yung nanakit sa akin. But then... But it comes a point in your life because the same thing happened to me. Like my dad left yes. and then I've always been with men that I shouldn't have been yeah. with and then surrounding myself with people that I know are bad for me. And then when they all leave, I'm like, I don't want yeah. to But then the older you get, the more people you encounter mm-hmm. and the more good people that you encounter, you realize mo that sometimes the problem's not with you. Eh. Yeah. It's them. Yeah. Like, okay, my dad left. mm that wasn't that wasn't my fault. Yeah. He chose to leave. Yeah. Diba? If I had an asshole boyfriend, he wasn't an asshole because I triggered him to mm. be an asshole. Sometimes he's just a fucking asshole. Yeah. Diba? And I think the more I come into terms that I am only responsible for my actions, yeah. for the words out of my mouth, and then whatever comes out of your mouth, it's more of a reflection of you. Yeah, of you so na lang. That's why nowadays, diba? Parang it seems like nothing phases me. Yeah. And like when people say nasty things to me or like I know someone's talking shit about me or if I'm not okay with someone, I always just say, it sounds like a you problem. Mm. Because you all know I'm the type of person na kapag may nangyayari, diba like ko sinasabi sa'yo to? Like when we weren't, we were in a bad place yeah. also at one point. I was like, alam mo, kausapin mo lang ako. Mm. Kasi madali naman ako kausap eh. Yeah. Because I also said to you, Daddy, I cannot read your mind. Yeah. You don't think it before yeah. eh. And then ever since we had that conversation, our relationship has been stronger. Yeah. And now we have a better understanding of like, ah, okay, ganto siya mag-isip. Ganto yung galawan niya. Now when something happens, and I said to you, I was like, this is probably the first time that we're not going to be okay. And I said, this is not going to be the last time that something happens in our life mm. that maybe we'll fight again. Yeah. Maybe like, magkatampuhan tayo. That's life. But now we know how to handle things. Yeah. And now, it's not going to drag out. Right? Yeah. And that's, I take that lesson with me with every encounter I have with everyone yeah. in my life. Mm-mm. That I'm like, if I have a problem with you, I'm gonna say it to you. Direktahin mo na sa kanya. Yan din ang huli nating topic, di ba? Kasi ganyan din nangyari sa akin. 
we ha- I the fight I had with my best friend for me was the most painful mm-hmm. for me because hindi kami nag-usap. Yeah. And itong pinaka-weird, best friend ko yun, bakit hindi kami nag-uusap? Eh, yun nga yung easiest for us to do. But because we were not, natatakot kami sa siguro possible reaction ng isa. Oo, ng uh-huh. reaction ng isa na baka ma-damage pa lalo ata yung friendship, if ganyan. But yun pala, that's all we really needed. A conversation. Kasi when we finally spoke na kaming dalawa, nagkaintindihan kami kasi yeah. alam naman namin from the get-go kaya nga kami mag-best friend eh. Yes. Kasi we understand each other in that level. We should have just done this from the get-go. And you know what? I feel like I should have done that with the other people na nawala sa buhay ko before. Yeah, but also, if they're gone now, for me ah, it, it also, it means they're not meant to last. Because yeah. it takes two eh. Yeah. So just because, hindi ba, let's say if you cut me off, Diba? And I felt like there was still something worth fighting for yeah. with our relationship. You would see me still trying yeah. to repair it. But if I give up as well, that means you both don't want it anymore. Yeah. So why bother? So that's Pero okay. Pero it's just not the repair. It's just more of the things I wanted to say that I wasn't able to. You need to, to get off your chest. Na until now, I regret not being able to say it. Yeah. Like I cannot specifically say kung sino yung dire describe ko pero ang dami kong gustong sabihin sa kanya kasi siya talaga yung pinaka nakasakit sa akin. Yeah. And hindi ko sa kanya masabi kasi lagi niyang misinterpret. Uh, lagi niya sinasabi na either nagsisinungaling ako uh, or ay lagi niya akong ini-invalidate. It's just a very negative Uh-oh. thing. Lagi ako na lag, lagi na invalidate yung feelings ko na parang pinaparamdam sa akin na wala akong karapatan masaktan. Uh-oh. Hindi dapat di ko dapat naramdaman 'yon. When in fact, is I had all the right to feel that yeah. way. And you know what you did to me. Hindi mo lang ma-admit sa sarili mo. You cannot strike dominance. You cannot say, kailangan mo ako respetuhin. Uh-uh. And you can't also expect me to always let go. come to you and repair it. Yeah. I cannot repair what you broke. Yeah. You know, you're supposed to repair what you broke. And ako na lang, I just control na lang how I react to it. Have you ever thought mm-hmm. of like, just letting it go? No, I have not. Yeah. Um, it took a really long time for me to let it go, but I've come to a point na rin na tumanda na ako, okay na uh-huh. ako. Um, I'm in so a with or place. without the yeah. conversation? With right? or without the conversation, I'm okay na. But better kung meron, di ba? Better sana, di ba? <laughs> better, better sana, uh-huh. kasi gusto mo rin sana ng explanation kung bakit nangyari yung mga nangyari, bakit nasabi yung mga nasabi. Uh-huh. Gusto, or gusto mo din sana ng apology. Yeah. Kasi feeling ko deserve ko din ng apology. But sometimes talaga, no, there are things in our life that we'll never get the conversations that we want yeah. or we think that we deserve. And then I think when you come, like like you, you've come to a point that you're like, you know, it probably won't happen. Mm-hmm. I'll move on. Yeah. And you'll be okay. And like what my mom says, like, you know, that's the best revenge you can give someone. Yeah. You show them that you're happy. You show them that yeah. you're great. And because at the end of the day, the more you think about them, mm. the more you think about these negativities in your life, especially if you don't want to deal with it or alam, mm. mong, alam mong walang resolution to it, the more it drags you down. That even the beautiful things in life, they will see dark and glo- they will seem dark and gloomy yeah. to you. Well, sometimes ang walang closure is the closure. Yeah. Maybe sometimes yun na yun talaga. It's meant to be. No, wala kayong Uh-oh. closure. And that's not a reflection of you. Yeah. Because no, you wanted the conversation. I kind of like stop blaming myself Uh-oh. na. Because I think I've done enough. Yeah. I've done enough reaching out. I've done enough, you know... I did all that I could. Balls in your court, yeah. homeboy or homegirl that daddy's talking about. <laughs> Parang ginawa ko na lahat on my end. Yeah. So, kung meron bang dapat gumawa ng first move, hindi na sa akin dapat manggaling yun kasi lahat na ng move ginawa ko na. Uh-uh. So, dapat ngayon, ikaw naman sana. Lalo na marami ng reason para yung taong yun gawin yun para sa akin. Yeah. Ayoko na lang kasi I don't want any more... Um, Ill feelings. Yeah. Uh-uh. Parang the respect will always be there. You'll always love the person. It's just, you can love them now from afar. Yes. You know and that. I think that always goes back to like who we are as people and going back to like the identity crisis because there are things that happen in our life. There are people that we encounter that it makes you question. Na yeah. parang, Shit, kung trinato mo ko ng ganito, ganito ba talaga akong tao? Yeah. And yeah. then when you've let go or like you've moved on or whatever, that's when you can kind of reel yourself back in and make sure na parang, hey, that was that person. Yeah. 
just fucking with my mental yeah. and trying to see they were trying to make me think that I am this way I'm the problem yeah Mm-mm. it's me hi I <laughs> but diba? there was once we were always the problem in everybody's <laughs> mouths but diba? but at the end of the day it sounds like a you problem and then when you reel it back in and then you're like you know that's not who I am I'm not going to let a person dictate who I'm supposed mm. to be that's when you really find out na parang ito talaga ako. yeah and you know, sometimes identity crisis roots from that. It roots from the fact that you have so much anger. Di ka nakakalit go sa mga bagay-bagay. Uh, Di ka pa nakaka-move forward sa mga bagay na yes. nakakasakit sa'yo or nakasakit sa'yo. So ngayon, you lost ka sa buhay yeah, mo. Yeah, and you start to shift into like this little gremlin yeah. of hate. And then, Total shift yeah. ka, ibang tao ka na. I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with having negative feelings. You're Mm-mm. supposed to feel all sorts of emotions because... That's what life is about. Yeah. That's what a human being is. We, we're all stemming from happiness and anger, yeah. and sadness, right? But at the end of the day, we cannot let these emotions dictate who we are. Yeah. Like when I'm angry, and you know me, I get angry a lot. Yeah. Especially Same in the girls, the ba. But like, just because I get angry doesn't mean I'm an angry person. Or doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Yeah. Just because I'm sad doesn't mean all I have is sadness yeah. in my heart and I'm just a sad girl. Mm-mm. These are just things na parang, maybe I'm having a tough month. Yeah. Give but me then, a break. Yeah. But then one day, I'll let it go and then I'll go back to who I truly am. Yeah. Diba? And I'll show you who my character really is. These are just like bumps in the road. Yeah. But don't identify with me. Don't assume that that is who I am. Okay. So since like we've we've spoken we talked about all the bad things mm-hmm. or the identity crisis. Now is like the best part of our conversation. It's like, so who is Lauren now? Has Lauren found herself now? Ako lang to. Ako lang naman to eh. Okay naman. I think, you know, at the end of the day, I'm only 29 going on 30 and I still have my life ahead of me I have yet to experience like being a wife and mm. a mom and I know my my personality and everything in my life will shift when these milestones hit but as of this moment you know I'm just a girl who doesn't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> no I'm more like I don't know eh, I practice daily the art of letting go yeah you know I'm just someone who I live my life for me and I'm really happy that I do that because, like what I said earlier, nothing phases me. Mm. Someone is being a dick to me. I'm just like, whatever. It sounds like it's, it's your problem, not yeah. mine. And I'm just out here enjoying my life. Kaya siguro parang hindi ako naapektohan sa lahat ng mga... Like, you know, I, I get comments also that are hurtful. But to be honest, I don't get hurt by them. Mm. Because sabi ko na lang sa sarili ko, you know, you've come a long way, Lauren. Yeah. Like, when people ask me, oh, why'd you gain weight? I'm like, I stopped drinking. Cause <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, I can't keep saying that to people because, like, I can't, like, just unload my life story onto yeah, but, you. but, you know, for me, sobrang toxic talaga na pag tinatanong ng tao yun. Yeah, but, like, that's really my reason. Like, you know, I just... I've let go of other things in my life and I think I'm just directing my focus to just my happiness. Di masaya ka na kasi ngayon. Yeah. You're in a really good place in your life. So, ayaw mo na masira yun. Yeah. Parang, kung kayo pa sisira, sayang. Like, ang dami ko nang ginawa to get here. Yes. You can't ruin me with just saying I gained weight. Like, get a life. To be honest, gaining weight for me was a very good thing mm. for me because there was a time in my life that I really wasn't eating mm. I was working out seven days a week not consuming food and not sleeping as in nagkakape lang ako yeah. eat an apple or whatever it was very unhealthy everyone thought I looked my best yeah. but deep inside it was just horrible horrible yeah. so but when people ask me about gaining weight to them, it may seem like I let go. Yeah. But to me, it was everything that I needed. Because yes. gaining weight meant that I had a better relationship Mm-mm. with food. I wasn't overworking my body. And I wasn't consuming things that were toxic You're inside. healthier. And I'm healthier. Actually, I think this is the healthiest I've been in my yeah. life. Maybe I need to lose a couple of pounds. But we'll get there, you know? No, but but that's, like, that's what but people then, need to know. But then, that's my problem yeah. now. That's not your problem yeah. anymore. And like, gaining weight... It also, it puts me in a place where I'm just, I am who I am. Mm. And I've never been happier. And 
this is the time in my life where I actually know kung sino ba talaga ako. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe right now, going to the gym is quite triggering for me. Yeah. So, that's why I'm just like always, parang dito lang ako, at your ako own dito. pace. Oh, at like, my own pace. When you want, then you go yes. do that. But that's not your priority now. Exactly. That's what I always tell people. Like, we all have different priorities as of the moment. And she wants to focus on other things. So, I think people just has to respect yeah. that hindi yun yung gusto mong gawin ngayon. Masaya ka sa ginagawa mo ngayon. Eh. Masaya ka sa buhay mo ngayon. Baka bukas gumising ako, gusto ko magpapayat. Totoo. Kayang-kaya uh, niya. I think kasi now, yung priority ko lang talaga, it's, it's really like what's going on, on in here. Your, yes. Because for a long time, it was a very dark place. Mm-mm. And now that I'm just, I've just about figured out who I am. Yeah. So like, let me live I, I want to live in this moment for a little while. Yeah. And then I'll keep adding on to it one by one, the other aspects of my life. But right now, I'm okay just living in my little bubble. Yeah. <laughs> diba? So yeah. So that's who I am. I'm just a happy girl with sim- a sim- very simplistic life. And um, I just want to be happy. Yeah. I, I want to be surrounded by people who love me. And I don't need a lot of things. And... Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Same girl. Si Ayan lang ako. Kung di mo ko trip, di din kita trip. Like, after <laughs> how many years of my life of trying to figure out where I'm supposed to place myself, what I'm supposed to do, who am I outside my family? Like, yeah. I've, I, I, that's a constant battle within myself for years. But now, like, I found myself. I'm so happy with my life. Yeah. I get that I, 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 I have so much problems sometimes, but it cannot ruin what I have. Yes. Like, yeah, ang daming problema, but that's part of life. Ano bang buhay kung wala kang problema, di ba? But the things that matter to me, like my husband's happy, my child's healthy and happy. And you are too. And I'm very happy. Yeah. Like, I'm at the place in my life that I can honestly say that I am. But they always say na, sinasabi mo yan kasi you have to prove something. For the first time in my life, I do not have to justify why I'm happy. I just really am. Yeah. Like, hindi ko kailangan na explain further or elaborate kung bakit ako masaya. Kung kilala nyo, kung alam nyo kung ano yung difference ko, kung ano difference ng buhay ko ngayon or kung ano ko ngayon. So parang feeling ko, ngayon, that's why this is a topic is because we were so lost for many years. Yes. And now we are found. Wow. And it's pretty and cool because like, even if we live totally different lives, and we are different but yet the same, yeah. and we have very different lifestyles, I feel like sometimes our life kind of goes on the same track. Yeah. And it's funny how we kind of figure it out together. Yeah. And it, it's pretty nice. It's nice to have a friend like that. Because sabi ko, as you get older, kailangan din talaga ma-realize mo yung mga taong ikikip mo sa buhay mo. Kasi yan din yung mga taong na, di ba, you, they always say you are who your friends are. Yes. So, as you get older, if, nakapapansin mo, lumiliit na yung circle mo, mm-hmm. ibig sabihin, ibang tao ka na. Yeah. You're, you're in na-identify mo na Na-identify na mo na kung, kung sino ka, sino yung mga taong gusto mong sa buhay mo, and kung sino yung gusto mong, uh, kung sino yung dapat tanggalin sa yes. buhay mo. And kami, thankfully, we didn't have to figure that out We didn't later have to on. cut each other yeah, off. <laughs> we didn't have to cut each other off. You know, Thank like, God. It was a, it's, it, it's a connection, like, it's a friendship that e-effortan mo uh-huh. yun. But you know, it's, it's, it's good to find um, good friends in your life at this age because and dami na nangyayari sa boy yeah. natin ngayon. And they really take good care of Millie. So parang we're in a good place. All of us are like, fights will happen as we get older, but we know where we stand yes. in each other's life. So we don't have to second guess that. Like, ito na lang, I think that's the thing, the, la- the parting words we can tell you. It's like, if you are honestly going through an identif- identity crisis right now, uh, reflect on the things that you think you may malaking impact sa buhay mo. Mm-hmm. Like, one is your relationship. So, that is your friendship, your partner. Your family. Your family. Yan yung mga kailangan mo munang tignan. Ano ba yung nangyayari sa bahay? Ano ba nangyayari yeah. sa friendships mo? Like, because again, there are some people that mold into the people that they're always with. So, if you're that kind of friend na you mold into your friends. Like you're a chameleon. You mold, yeah, ganun yeah. ka. Then magkakaroon ka talaga ng identity crisis. So you have to figure out that kung gano'n ka bang tao. Yes. Kasi kailangan mo ma-realize that are, we, are you with the right crowd? Because if you're that kind of person, then you have to surround yourself with good people, people that will help you grow. Yes. Not 
people that will, will drag you down. Will drag you down. And I think it's really important to have those tough conversations with yourself. Because like that was something that really helped me. It was really pinpointing what are the things in my life that make me feel shameful, yeah. that make me question myself, that 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 puts doubt in my heart. Yeah. And then when you identify those things, it's hard enough to identify them, but it's harder to actually put something in action yeah. to make sure that you eradicate those things yeah. from your life. Yeah. And after that, you have to stand by who you think you are. Yeah. And papanindigan mo yun, syempre. Oh, oh, but syempre. also, there's always chance and time to grow. Yeah. And these things don't happen overnight. Like, to be honest, mine happened in like four years. Mm. And I'm still just at that place where I'm just okay with yeah. who I am. Yeah. And I know there's so much more that I can do. But as long as you have your support system. And if you don't, you make yourself your yeah. support system. Again, we're going back. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Yes. Kahit ano pang klaseng help yan. Professional or... Personal. Personal. Whatever that is. Don't ever, ever forget that. Don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Because sometimes that help might change your life. So always... And I think one is also get asking for help is not a sign of weakness. I, I learned the hard way. I was like that. Low was like that. And now, it's not so hard anymore. Yeah. You know, it's not, hindi na siya burden. Hindi na siya nakakatakot gawin. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And sana may na-inspire kayo, may na-pick up kayo. If you're struggling with identity crisis, I hope may na-impart kaming dalawa sa inyo today. Yes. And again, you're gonna get through it. It's life. It's just gonna get harder and harder from here. All you have to do is just... Learn how to deal with it. <laughs> learn how to deal with it because that's all... We always, we always just have to figure things out. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions on what our next uh, podcast should be, please don't be afraid to put it in our comment section. So thank you, Lou. Thanks, Daddy. Bye, guys. Bye.